Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be working on the Ender 3 Pro running clipper on a 4.2.7 control board. Something that I noticed recently with um, my stepper motor cover is that it was starting to get deformed and this is the Y-axis cover. And then I remembered that when I changed out the control board from the stock 4.2.2 board to this 4.2.7 I never changed or adjusted the stepper motor voltages so that's what we're going to be doing in this video and I want to give a special shout out to Doug O'Connor for putting together the uh, reference material that we're going to be using so without further ado let's get right into it I made up these uh, slides to show you what we're going to be working on. When you look at your control board, it's going to have a series of resistors uh, underneath each one of the stepper driver plugs. And it's important that these numbers, uh, you write them down somewhere. That way we can use to plug them into our formula to get the proper values. On Creality 4.2.2, and 4.2.7 boards, uh, these are the resistor values, they're 150. And the next row are the little adjustment pots that we're going to be working on. Each stepper motor has its own little adjustment pot. The one that uses the most amount of current is going to be the extruder because it has the larger of the stepper motors on it. Usually it's a 4240. And the other axes, uh, Z, X, and Y, all use 4234s. So let's uh, jump over to this next picture here. This shows us a close-up of the resistor. So again, resistor value 150. And then you got the little adjustment here on the bottom. Uh, my good friend Doug O'Connor spent a great deal of time putting this document together and it gives us all the information that we need to properly adjust our uh, voltage for our stepper motors. Based on the R150 value, we're going to be plugging it into the uh, formula this way. So it's V reference, so we're here on line 3. V reference is the max current. You can get this from the stepper motor manufacturer. And then this uh, 8 is a constant that is related to this 4988 driver that controls these uh, stepper motors. And that can be found in this document. I'll link all this stuff in the video description. So here's the formula that they give us, and here's the constant 8. So we're going to be using this value. Multiplied by the sensor resistor. Okay, so for a 4234, it would be 0.84 amps is the max current. And for a 4240, max current is 1 amp. Now, uh, Doug recommends that we use 10% of each of these values. First example on line 5. So this first one is going to be for a 4234 stepper motor. Max current is 840 milliamps minus 10%. Gives us a value of 756 milliamps. So our formula is going to be the following. 756 milliamps times 8 gives us 6048 times 0.15, which is the uh, resistor value, equals 907.2 or 0.972 volts DC. So we're going to be setting up our 4234. to 0 0.9072 volts and 
And then the next example is for the 4240, which is the extruder stepper motor. This one has a max current of 1,000 milliamps. Minus 10% gives us 900 milliamps. So 900 milliamps multiplied by 8 gives us 7,200 times 0.15 gives us a value of 1080 or 1.080 volts. So these are the values that we're going to be using to adjust uh, our stepper motors. All right, so let's say that we set uh, we set up our our voltages according to this. And uh, for whatever reason, our stepper motors they skip steps. So what we got to do then is we're going to add 5% to this number. So here I got a quick calculator. We're going to do 0 0.9072 plus 5%. And this is what we're going to this is how we're going to increase it until it doesn't skip any steps. But we're going to start off with these values first and see how it goes. All right, so I'm going to be taking off the power supply cover. This is just the the, uh, the cover for the terminal, and then we're also going to need to take the cover off for the main board. All right, so I'm going to be tapping tapping some wires to this. Uh, the way the wires go on this power supply is you got uh, positives are on one side so you got uh, this is from the from it should have like a little LED or the opposite of the power plugs it'll start uh, positive 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 and then negative 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 so the negative wires are closest to the power wires on the left hand side and the positive wires are opposite uh, the left side now what might be a good idea is if you get a, a red magic marker and you can mark these in red. That way you never lose track of which ones are positive or which ones are negative. Now what we want to do here is we want to loosen one of these lugs here so that we can attach a wire to this, to this one terminal over here. So I'm going to attach a negative wire here. So nothing fancy, just... Strip the end, put it inside here, and uh, just tighten it down. And the reason we're attaching this wire is because this wire is going to get connected to one of the leads for our multimeter. So instead of having to hold it, hold it on here, we can just wrap it around the end, and it should be good to go. Now you want to set your multimeter to volts and then dc so right now this little squiggly line over here in the corner indicates that this is uh, ac current so we want to change this to dc current you'll see the little plus and minus and then we want to change the range to volts and then i'm going to go ahead and connect this negative lead up I'm just going to wrap it with a little piece of tape. It should be electrical tape, but whatever tape you have handy. And then that guy's just going to hang out there. Okay, so I got my meter situated here. So I got this thing over here. You can see it's connected to the uh, connected to the negative of the power supply. All right, so we want to adjust the everything except for the extruder to uh, 0 0.90. Turn the printer on. And what I find best to adjust this is a, uh, just like a fine flathead screwdriver. See it right there. And just make sure that before you turn it on, you make sure that you got a, a bit that fits in there properly. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap a piece of wire
I'm going to get a piece of wire like this and I'm just going to wrap this around the metal part of this screwdriver. Right around this part right here. I'm going to wrap it a couple of times and then I'm going to twist it onto the wire like this. Okay, so this allows this thing to turn but still make contact. And then this other side, I'm going to attach to the meter. Same as I did with the, uh, the negative lead. I'm going to wrap this around the tip, and then I'm going to put some tape on it to hold it. That way I can make the adjustment without too much fuss. Because you don't want this, you don't want this, uh, any of these metal components touching anything inside this control board, any of the parts on there, while it's energized because you could cause yourself some problems. So here's my little rig for the positive side. And we'll go ahead and turn it on. And then I'm going to start with the With the extruder so the extruder is the one on this side right here so right now it's reading 1.12 so I'm gonna lower it and I want to say it was 1 1.9 I believe is what it was the value right yeah 1.8 1.08 1 so I'm gonna come back over here Tweak it up a little bit. Right there, 1.08. All right, that one's done. All right, let's go to the next one. The next one is going to be the Z stepper motor. So I'm going to put my screwdriver on there. And it's showing 0.98, which is a little high. So I'm going to turn this down to 0.9. Uh, right there, point nine. Okay, point eight nine, point nine. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna go to the next one, and this one is my my Y stepper, and the Y stepper is crazy hot. And now I can see why, because it's at 1.09. So I'm going to turn this down to That's got it right there, 0 0.89, 0 0.9. All right, 0 0.9. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to go back to the uh, other one and double check this one. Got this one at 0 0.89. I'm going to turn this one up to 0 0.9. All right, 0.9. So let's check X. And X is showing me 1.09, which is high. So I'm going to turn this down. There it is, 0 0.90, done. All right, so now I'm going to turn off the power supply, take everything apart, and uh, put it all back together, and then we'll fire off a test print.
All right, guys, it's done. Let's check it out. And I was having I was having problems with this. Uh, Having a lot of streaming issues in this batch of uh, sun filament, not sure why. But uh, a little light here with this inside. Yeah, now this is super clean. Perfect. Alright, guys, that wraps up this video. If you're new to the channel consider subscribing turn on your notification bell and leave me some comments i love reading the comments and do my best to get back to you guys as soon as i see them all right guys until the next one take care